Redmi Go is the new budget phone from the Xiaomi sub brand, ideal as a starter device and for first time users. Not really meant for proper smartphone users since the apps are toned down and lacks full features. Though the phone does feel smooth with a stock Android UI and only 1GB of RAM. The Redmi Go weighs in at just 137 grams, feels very light in the hands and the plastic build quality seems to be strong enough in my usual trial bend. So can the Redmi Go with just 1GB RAM and 8GB storage be able to play PUBG or not? Unfortunately as you can see, the Redmi Go simply refuses to play PUBG even though the full game does get downloaded along with additional files. Moving on to the hardware, let's check out the audio quality of the external speakers in the sound test. At full volume, the audio output is a bit on the lower side, kind of like 3 levels lower than the Redmi Note 7. Even then, the sound is still loud enough for receiving calls with good mids and highs for media consumption. Starting with the water test, let's check out the layer of olophobic coating on this unnamed glass production. This olophobic layer which is missing on every realme device, helps in reducing fingerprint smudges and ripples water in the form of droplets instead of sticking to the glass surface. So it's good to see this layer on an extreme budget device like the Redmi Go. The most common reaction to water in these phones with no water resistance is low and distorted audio from the external speakers which can last for a few seconds to several hours and may permanently damage the sound and the display unit. Apart from other issues the device may face, the Asus Zenfone 5Z had suffered screen damage due to water seepage issues. So will the Redmi Go be able to reach the heavy drenching ground and handle the water abuse? For a device priced under 4.5k, the Redmi Go does surprisingly well against the water abuse and passes the water test. As most of us know through common sense and bad accidental drops, that production is the only way of safeguarding our devices. So let's drop test the Redmi Go with an ordinary tempered glass and soft case. Starting the drop test with the first drop from pocket of waist height.
and every Realme device tested on the channel are not able to survive the blade with ugly scuff marks. Will this unnamed glass production on the Redmi Go survive the blades? Other than light marks from the key, the Redmi Go does survive against the blade abuse, suffering no damage and passes the scratch test. Now moving on to fun stuff with value, the bend test. Let's find out if the Redmi Go can handle external pressure and if any cost cutting has been done. The first bend itself has permanently broken the plastic midframe near the power key. Now let's apply pressure from the back. In the case of Redmi Go, unfortunately cheap does mean bad quality in terms of structural integrity, design and a flimsy plastic back. The Redmi Go does not stand a chance against external pressure and badly fails my bendist. DJ Radical.